Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Um, just gonna go ahead and, um, right off the bat, I'm just gonna go ahead and intro this music real quick. Um, this is Frere, uh, Crepuscular Glare of Wisdom. Uh, I believe this is a, a one-man project from Italy, so, you know, and yeah, it is Dungeon Synth. Oh, and, um, I was gonna play some Stoner Rock, but for what I'm gonna be talking about, it just wouldn't have been appropriate, so... Oh, and also, um, like, like has been going on, there's gonna be a bunch of moving parts on this one. So, there's a lot of stuff I gotta keep track of and all that, cause, so, get ready for, just don't be surprised if I make a few mistakes here and there. I mean, again, unlike other content creators, um, aside from, you know, setting up the visuals and stuff like that, everything I do on here is improvised. There's no script, there, nothing's being pre-planned way in advance or anything like that, so. That going, and then secondly, um, currently we got a thunderstorm going right over my head right now. Um, some thunder and lightning going on, and um, plus, on two occasions, the lights in my apartment blinked. So teeter and on a blackout here. So I, I kind of, I kind of want to, I want to get this off to the printing press, so to speak, as quickly as possible. So. So yeah, because if, if I do get a blackout, or if I do get a blackout, who knows how long I'll get it. So. Uh, but anyway, to start with, um, pinball stream, I, it went average. It's, 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 about, it's about all I can say. Um, pinball FX3, uh, it's a new matchup week. Uh, did pretty good on that, so definitely out of the red and I'm hoping that over the course of a week, I'll be able to play, I'll be able to be ranked up high enough to move up to the next league. So to get promoted up higher. Uh, but otherwise, Pinball Arcade, Zachariah as well, it just, it, it, it was just merely average. You know, just, if I had a toss a statistic out there, each each ball lasted anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds. You know, it just bleh. Like I wasn't like super terrible or anything, but I definitely wasn't tearing up the terrain or anything like that. It just it was just definitely it was something not not really worth writing home about. So so just gotta hope for uh gotta hope for a better session tomorrow. Uh, but uh, one, one. Oh, let me uh, let me take a drink of some Arizona green tea here, real quick. Okay, but one, one big thing though. Um, this morning, um, this movie came up on my YouTube recommendations called Fed Up. It's a documentary that's um, that's about um, uh, it's about the obesity epidemic that we have in this country. Uh, but this time, though, the emphasis. Okay, I'll stop a second. Okay, but yeah, this time the uh, the emphasis is actually on children. So it, but yeah, it's just how, why like, kids are like so, kids are obese and all that, and it's um, it was like documenting a few of these uh these really big, humongous kids. You know, and you know talking about their diet and stuff like that, and it just. Yeah. So, but like I said, this is definitely some good stuff, though. Um, a lot of it, though. Um, I've um, I've a lot of it I've already known before from uh. Um, I'll probably best if I just go ahead and show it rather than tell it. Um, those that have uh, those that have seen my previous previous casts these um these movies might be familiar to you uh but like usual there's gonna be a there might be a really weird looking blue screen 
looking thingy, it'll say OBS on it and stuff. I'll try to stop it as quick as I can, though. Okay, got it. And even then, this may not work. Almost. Yeah, one of them was a uh, food ink. Let me pull up the second one. Yeah, because I'm. It it seems like I can't really talk about. I can't really talk about um fed up without talking about the other two movies as well. And yeah, I'm doing this in the middle of a damn thunderstorm too. So. And once again, um, there might be a little, there might be a little blue patch that's gonna say OBS and stuff like that on it. I'll try to stop it as quick as I can. Okay, just barely. That even then this image here may not work that does tend to happen but yeah Mer food ink and merchants of doubt so I've already watched these two movies so uh, a lot of the stuff they talk about and fed up I already knew but once again um but but once again, the only, the emphasis on this one though is on the children. You know, children being obese. So yeah, it it's pretty 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 fucked up when uh when the kids are fat. And I think uh, I just remember too one of the one of the older people on this uh, documentary here was saying that back in her day, uh, fat children was like super super rare. And uh for the ones that for the kids that were fat, it really was genetics. Like they didn't eat themselves fat or anything. So it just, it was natural for them. But not, not these days. In fact, I just thought of this too. Um, both of my nephews, they're pretty obese as well. They're, you know, they're eating all the wrong foods and stuff. And um, despite my sister, you know, trying to stem the tide of, you know, diabetes and all that, you know, trying to help, trying to set her, set her kids on the right path. It's not really working. So... So yeah, but most certainly I'll definitely be um, I haven't I haven't watched the whole entire movie yet. I've watched maybe like the first thirty minutes of it, but yeah, I'll most certainly gonna be watching the rest of it though. So, but, but like I said, as kind of a recap, um, they they don't really say anything that I haven't heard before from me watching uh, Food Inc. and Merchants of Doubt. So I guess if, for those that have never seen any of the other two movies, Food Inc. is basically the corporatization of food. You know, just junk food companies. It comes to mind. You know, it, they're you know they're they're trying to stay in business. They're trying to make a profit and all that. So they don't really give two shits about people, you know, getting sick and dying. And I, I just thought of this too. Um, the tobacco industry kind of works the same way too. Um, you know, they say, you know, or there was a book by John Grissom. I forget the name of it, but it was about the tobacco industry. There were, uh, you know, tobacco, you know, tobacco companies are saying, well, kids shouldn't smoke. They should never smoke, which is a crock of shit. Because their whole, um, their whole profit and livelihood and all that depends on addicting the next generation. They got to get that next generation hooked because the older people that have been smoking for many years are going to end up with lung cancer and emphysema and eventually they're going to be dying off. So, and their, their money along with them. So they have to get that next generation hooked. So, you know, so the, the, the junk food companies are the same way. 
they probably say the same thing. No, kids shouldn't be eating fatty foods. It'll cause diabetes and all that. I mean, no, they're just, they're lying off their ass. They want to get those kids hooked. You know? Because, again, the older people, like around my age and stuff, that are still eating junk food, and in my case, I'm pretty much addicted to it, you know, we're all going to get diabetes and heart disease and a whole host of other horrors. We're going to wind up, you know, we're going to wind up dying. Or, best case scenario, we're going to wind up having to swear off junk food entirely because of their, our medical conditions. So, they got to get that next generation addicted. Um, but, I don't think Food Inc. mentioned what I just said, but it, the general premise is there. You know, it's all... Yeah, I, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, um, Merchants of Doubt, um, it kind of goes into more specifics. Like, um, if you ever hear, if you ever hear, like, tobacco companies, junk food companies being interviewed, you're going to hear, it's why, it's why you hear a lot of, oh, we, well, we can't be sure, but, um, you know, when you, when you hear them, like, dodging the issue, you know, despite all the scientific evidence proving otherwise, and I, I can't, I can't think of any, I can't think of any, exact phrases that they that they say at the moment but they're never gonna they're never gonna out they'll never excuse me i'm trying to put my thoughts together here so they'll never say your your scientific evidence is wrong they'll never say that but what they'll try to do instead is they'll try to they'll try to cast doubt or they'll try to cause confusion they'll you know they'll try to they'll try to mislead you know they'll try to mislead the interviewers and stuff like that so They'll try to sow dissension, confusion, try to change the subject, try to dodge the issue, etc., etc. But um, Merchants of Doubt is a is a documentary that is that's about this. It's about sowing doubt amongst people. Um, I think it was uh, it started back in the '60s. There was a uh, uh, tobacco companies. There was a uh, a report that came out about all this information that uh big tobacco was suppressing they knew all along that smoking caused lung cancer and emphysema and all that they already knew this but but when uh when this when the information got leaked out they were fucked because once this report got out and made public their their fate was pretty much sealed so they contacted a, a public relations firm asked them what to do and and voila, the art of the spin was born. The they the the PR firm basically told them that they now have to become bullshit artists. Cause again, they they can't just outright say that the scientific evidence is wrong, especially if they have no evidence to refute that. So again, they have to start making up bullshit stories and you know you know lie, cheat, and swindle. You you, you get the idea. But Merchants of Doubt was a documentary that was centered on this. And a, and a whole bunch of other companies, coal, junk food, oil, you name it, they probably do it. They all saw this and they're like, you could do that? And so all these other companies now, they all followed suit. So, but anyway, so that's just a, kind of a kind of a quick primer on what those two movies are about. So, but... A lot of what Fed Up talks about is stuff that I already knew. But once again, this is centered around... This uh, documentary here is more centered around the obesity epidemic among children. So, yeah. But like I said, most certainly, provided my apartment doesn't black out overnight or anything like that, uh, I'm definitely going to be watching the rest of this. So, I'm going to go ahead and take another drink. There was something else I was wanting to say. I can't remember what it was. That's what it was. Um, 
and a one other thing they said in the movie, um, and I totally agree with this, is uh, the whole entire spin here in this country is, it's all your fault. And during the period of time when, when I was trying to lose weight, um, I managed to get my, over the course of, I'd say, one to two years, I can't remember anymore, but I managed to get my weight from 210 all the way down to 140. But throughout that, throughout that time that I was losing weight, um, you know, I just, I was hearing, you know, I was hearing more and more of the, or no, excuse me, excuse me. It just, I've heard, I've heard these kind of, I've heard this kind of, this kind of thing before for many years, but it didn't really come to the surface until I actually started losing weight and actually really trying to struggle, avoid, you know, trying to keep from eating junk food and all that. Um, the whole, oh, it's just a willpower issue. That's all. All these obese kids, it just, they're too weak-minded. They lack the will to, you know, they lack the will to stop, you know, stop eating the junk food. It's not that hard. And my response, Walmart's hiring, bud. So, all too e I mean, it's, it's, it's all too easy to do this. You know, make these kind of comments when you're not, when you're not in the environment that we're in. So, but like I said, I've said this in other casts before, I'll go ahead and say it here, but, you know, it's the same, you know, it's the same thing with like, junkie, you know, junkies out on the street. I mean, it's easy to call, it's easy to call them pathetic when you're not in the environment that they're in, because oftentimes that's what it is, you know. You're not a heroin junkie, you, you live, you know, you live high and mighty making your 50, 100 grand a year doing, doing whatever in your white collar job, you know, you get the idea, but you know, you're like so far removed from this kind of lifestyle, it's all too easy to criticize it. There it is. I found it. Um, um, uh, legendary uh, ultra marathoner. One of my big inspirations, David Goggins. He freaking nailed it. He he once said that um, people who are critique and judge you haven't even tried what you're failing at. But yeah, again, I kind of knew this for many years, but it didn't really come to the surface until I actually started losing weight. So... You know, the whole, oh, they just lack discipline. Oh, they just lack willpower. Like, pretty obvious that uh, he doesn't work at Walmart. You know, or pretty obvious that they're not, they're not a junkie living out in the streets or anything like that, so. Um... But otherwise, otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, I have pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say, so. So, yeah, I got to gotta hurry and get this thing uh, all uploaded and squared away and stuff like that. Like I said, there's still a thunderstorm going, around, going on here. So, I kind of need to get all that taken care of before a blackout occurs, if it occurs. So. But. Otherwise, hey, um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, this will be my last cast for the week. So uh, my work week has started up uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, so that's my work week. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, But until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.